This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on departmental accounts. I wish to solve one sum here before you on departmental accounts, which was asked by the institute in CA examination. Observe the sum on the screen, which I intend to solve. Acts provides you following information. Stock on 1 month 2017. Prepared departmental trading account for the year 2017. So it's the opening stock. These are the number of units purchased. Units purchase price is 1 lakh. So 1 lakh is the total purchase price of all the purchases of department A, B and C. This is the sales units and this is the sales price per unit is given to you. The rate of gross profit is same in each case. Prepared departmental trading account. Now, first of all, I would like to allocate this 1 lakh between department A, B and C after allocation, after bifurcation of this total purchases between department A, B and C, I can prepare trading account. One more thing, opening stock is given to you, purchase is given to you, sales units are given to you. I am also required to find out the closing stock units before I prepare trading account. So first of all, I would like to bifurcate or I would like to allocate this 1 lakh rupees total purchase price between three departments A, B and C. For the purpose of bifurcation, I rely on this statement that the rate of gross profit is same in each case. So for all the department, the rate of gross profit is same. So for the purpose of bifurcation, I prepare one working note. First of all, I write down all the units purchased. So these are the number of units purchased. Now for a while, for the purpose of finding out the purchase price per unit for department A and B, I just presume or notionally, I sell all the purchased units at the selling price. So 1000 units sold at a price of 20, 2000 units are sold at a price of 22.5, 2004 units sold at a price of 25. So I will get the sales value for all the units purchased for department A, this is a sales value of all the units purchased for department B and sales value for all the units purchased for department C. This is a total sales value. From this sales value, I just deduct the purchase price. I'll get the total gross profit of all the department and this rate of gross profit is same for all the departments. So now I would like to find out the rate of gross profit, 25,000 divided by 125,000 into 100. So 20% is the rate of gross profit. Now when 20% is the rate of gross profit, to this sales of 20,000, 45,000 and 60,000, I apply this rate of gross profit. So what happens? If I apply the rate of gross profit, I will get the gross profit for department A. If all the purchased units are sold, this is not the actual gross profit that I earn. So here 45,000 into 20%, 9,000. This is the gross profit if all the purchased units are sold. Then and then this is a gross profit. This is not the real gross profit that we have earned. Similarly, in case of 60,000 into 20%, 12,000 is the gross profit if all the purchased units are sold. That's an important point. Now, if I deduct this gross profit from the sales value, I'll get the cost of purchase for all the units, 1,000 units. This is the cost of purchase for all the 2,000 units. This is the cost of purchase for all 2,400 units. So on the basis of that, so if you make a total of all these three, it works out to be one leg. That's an important point. Now I would like to work out the purchase price per unit. So cost of purchase is divided by number of units. This is the formula. So 16,000 divided by 1,000, 16 rupees per unit. 36,000 divided by 2,018 rupees per unit. And 48,000 divided by 2,400. 20 rupees per unit. So this is the purchase price. Let me write down this purchase price at one place, which is come, which I'm going to use for the purpose of preparing trading account. So purpose of this entire note was to find out the purchase price per unit for items purchased for department A, items purchased for department B and items purchased for department C. Now I would like to find out the closing stock. Opening stock, Plus purchases, purchase units minus sold units is equal to closing stock. For department B, opening stock 
प्लस यूनिट्स परचेस्ड माइनस यूनिट सोल्ड वन सिक्सटी इज द क्लोजिंग स्टॉक फॉर डिपार्टमेंट सी ओपनिंग स्टॉक प्लस परचेसिस माइनस सेल्स दिस इज द क्लोजिंग स्टॉक ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस क्लोजिंग स्टॉक इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड दिस परचेस प्राइस पर यूनिट एंड अदर डिटेल्स गिवन टू मीन द सम नाउ आई कैन प्रिपेयर द ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट लेट मी प्रिपेयर द ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट सो दिस इज अ ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट ओपनिंग स्टॉक वन ट्वेंटी इंटू सिक्सटीन दैट इज द ओपनिंग स्टॉक ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ए एटी इंटू एटीन इज द ओपनिंग स्टॉक फॉर डिपार्टमेंट बी वन फिफ्टी टू इंटू परचेस प्राइस पर यूनिट ट्वेंटी दिस इज द ओपनिंग स्टॉक फॉर डिपार्टमेंट सी नाउ लेट मी राइट ऑन द परचेस वन थाउजेंड इंटू फिफ्टीन टू थाउजेंड इंटू एटीन टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड इंटू फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड दिस इज द टोटल परचेस इज दिस प्लस दिस दैट मेक्स वन लैक नोट इज इट नाउ सेल्स यूनिट्स वन ट्वेंट वन जीरो टू जीरो इंटू ट्वेंटी दिस इज एक्चुअल यूनिट सोल्ड एट अ प्राइस ऑफ टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन नाइन टू जीरो यूनिट सोल्ड एट ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव दिस इज अ सेल्स वैल्यू फॉर डिपार्टमेंट बी सेम वे सेल्स वैल्यू फॉर डिपार्टमेंट सी वर्स आउट सिक्सटी टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड नाउ दिस क्लोजिंग स्टॉक यूनिट्स विल बी वैल्यूड एट दिस परचेस प्राइस सो हंड्रेड इंटू फिफ्टीन वन सिक्सटी इंटू एटीन एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स इंटू ट्वेंटी नाउ हैव अ टोटल ऑफ क्रेडिट माइनस डेबिट यू विल गेट द ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट so here the gross profit 22000 minus so this is the gross profit here also by deducting the debit side items you will get the gross profit from sales and closing stock if you deduct the opening stock and purchases you will get the gross profit same way for department c this is the gross profit so this is how this gross profit is found out by preparing trading account now let me demonstrate the entire working with sum on one slide so this is my trading account this is the working note that i have explained to you this is the working note prepared to find out the closing stock the most important point to be noticed by the student the gross profit is 4000 plus 9000 plus 12000 that is 25000 gross profit so this is the 25000 is the gross profit is just recorded to find out the purchase price per unit this is not the real gross profit that we have earned the gross profit of department a is 4080 but here for the purpose of finding out this purchase price per unit we have presumed that all the units purchased are sold then how much profit will occur so here all the units are not sold here the number of units purchased are 1000 and the number of units are sold is 1020 so gross profit this 4000 will not tell it with this 4080 that's an important point to be understood by the student so this is a gross profit if all the purchase units are sold but here the sales has taken place not of all the units purchased the units purchased are 1000 sales is 1020 units purchased are 2000 sales is 1920 units purchased are 2400 sales is 12496 so number of units sold are different so the actually realized gross profit is different than this presume nominal gross profit that we have used for the purpose of finding out the missing information as to cost price per unit of item purchased for department a b and c so this is how this sum gets solved i have tried to explain you this sum i feel that you have followed all these things thanks to all of you